Normally healthy and active wife and mother, Carrie Aiken, woke up one morning in the fall of 2010 with her heart pounding in her ears. It just, it's just so loud, it's like a drum, like somebody beating a drum with every beat of your heart. It's just boom, boom, it's loud and it's constant and it's nonstop. Carrie also had trouble with balance and everyday sounds, including her own voice, were deafening. I mean, it's so loud, it just like echoes through your whole head. Doctor after doctor and a battery of tests were of little help. Carrie was taken by ambulance several times to the emergency room. And then they look at you and all these tests come back. I mean, you know, seriously, you come out there more physically and mentally drained. No answers. After nine long months searching everywhere for a cure, Carrie was referred to a specialist at the UCLA Health System. She had lost a lot of weight and was quite depressed and um, no diagnosis was being given, so she was really struggling, I think, to kind of find some resolution to her problem and, um, and certainly I tried to help as best I could with that. Within just a few minutes of talking with Carrie, Dr. Gopin thought he had a diagnosis. The issue that she has is that she is missing a very small little piece of bone over her inner ear. And that's something that was acquired, so she wasn't born that way over time. For unclear reasons, people can develop these little tiny openings into their inner ear. And when that opening came, it brought a lot of these symptoms with it. A fine cut CAT scan confirmed the diagnosis. A tiny piece of bone was missing in Carrie's inner ear. He's going through the CAT scans and almost at the end, he goes, there it is. And I looked at my husband and I go, what, oh my God. He goes, there's the hole. Over to here where there's no bone. Semicircular canal dehiscence is a hard disease to diagnose. You really need a good team of doctors to recognize this, and once you recognize it, you can treat it. This is a rare condition that is really a horrible disease. It's a condition in where you can hear your own eyes move, you hear each beat of your heart as if it's blaring in your ears, and the sound of your own voice would drive you nuts. Dr. Gopin and neurosurgeon Dr. Isaac Yang were able to operate on Carrie to fix the hole in her inner ear. Supracanal, that's where she had a little abnormal opening into her inner ear and that's where we went ahead and plugged it up so it's pretty far inside your head. The surgery went really well. We'd make a very small incision behind the hairline so that once the surgery's over and the hair grows back, you never know you had surgery. We were able to safely lift up the brain and then Dr. Gopin was able to find the hole and we plugged it. So you're talking about making a small window in the, in the skull bone to reach the, the little pore there um, and retraction of the brain. That's why I do this with the help of the neurosurgeons always. But it's about a four-hour surgery. Usually there are not any significant complications and people go home a few days after the procedure. When I woke up from surgery in the recovery room and I did not hear that heart beating, I did not hear my voice echoing, I, I actually cried to myself. I had tears in my eyes. I thought, oh my God. This was, this was the first day of, you know, I really thought this was my first day of my life again. Oh, I'm driving again. Um, I went roller skating with my daughter. I'm able to go to movies again, uh, swimming. I'm forever grateful for uh, Dr. Gopin and Yang. And if it weren't for them, I, I don't think I'd be here. Life, I have life back.